but Hi, my name is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. I'm here with Jeff, uh, one of my installers from Airwright, uh, my favorite HVAC company in Austin, Texas. These guys have done all my houses here in Austin. And I wanted to show you one of the reasons why I really think these guys do a great install. Um, yesterday we took some video with um, Gilbert uh, from Airwright showing the gas furnace in this house. And this is some of the trunk line that's running off of that gas furnace. You can see all the trunk line, which is really the main feed for the house, is a metal duct that's been wrapped on the outside uh, with insulation. And Jeff, what's, what's the big advantage of using this compared to some other uh, uh, type of duct work? Uh, metal pipe is so less restrictive. It's, you can, they say that you can go like with 25% less duckage that's great. when you go on your manual J's. Mm -hmm. So airflow is a big airflow advantage. Airflow is a huge advantage, especially when you have it such a uh, the main source is kind of far away from right where it's going to where it's going to sure it helps out the airplane easier mm -hmm. run and uh, Tell me about uh, one thing that I know I've heard people uh, are concerned about is fiberglass in their airstream Tell me about how this would compare to some other systems with in regard to uh, fiberglass Well, um, this is excellent because as you see There's no way that fiberglass can get in it's all the fiberglass is on the outside. It's, it's insulated on the outside. That's right. So in so the airstream, there's the, zero fiberglass. Zero, which and is really nice. It's another great advantage um, for me for metal is is that uh, if your system twenty years from now, mm -hmm. like uh, second some, second owners want to clean want clean, clean the system the yeah. system out, all they have to do is just I mean clean out sweep sweep and it's done versus. versus uh, Flex and ductboard, where they have that sweep, and it can actually ruin the right. ductboard by trying to clean it. By trying to clean it. Good point. Here's one of the uh, boots that Alvin a minute ago was uh, using. What I call peanut butter. The, the the correct term for this is mastic. This is a uh, duct mastic. It's and you can see it's low toxic. That's great. Water based, low toxic. And they're they're uh, what they're doing is they're basically I call it peanut buttering the seams. So they're spreading on all <laughs> those seams so that this becomes a very airtight boot. So really, we're sending the air to the location that we want it to go. Not quite as important on these houses that we're building with a full foam uh, exterior because a little bit of air leakage is within the air-conditioned envelope. But we do want the correct airflow to go where, where we want it to uh, head. And lastly, I wanted to show you uh, what that trunk line looks like coming off of the uh, off the furnace in the installed position. And you can see where they've got to that joint. Uh, these guys have joined it and used the uh, mastic in between those two joints as well. And uh, one last thing, all the Ys in the system are also the same profile where you can see here's a Y that we've made on site. They've, uh, they've done a great job of doing mastic in between those connections and they've insulated that on the outside. What a great install, guys. Nice work. Really proud to have you guys working in my houses. Alvin and Omar and Hector, they're really good. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you joining me for the video blog. Have a great day.